welcome back now in this video we will start working right on the login page you will implement a beautiful UI design for the login so first let me add this to the dictionary save it so the green line will be gone then and if you guys didn't add it will not cause any error so that's fine and now we are on the main dot dot as you guys can see right in here so first we're gonna go and create a new folder right in the lib directory and we will name this as a login patch and right in the login patch we will create a dart file there we go and now we will name this as a login in a small alphabets underscore screen and title space you guys can give the underscore so press enter now right in the login screen dot dot you will have a stat for widget so write st there we go stat for widget we will name this as a login it's fine right in here we don't need this key remove that and simply click on the stat for widget and import the library material dot dot there we go so that's fine right in here so right in the login screen first we will set the wallpaper let me show you that right in the acid images folder and there we go with the wallpaper that one so at first we will show that just for a while and right after that we will show a beautiful company image right in the background with the animation so first we will go and create a folder right in the lib by the name services and right inside that folder we will create a dart file by the name global variables because we are going to need some variable and we will declare that as global so in here global variables it's fine now right in here first one we are going to need it for the login image as I told you before so in here you will say string type login URL image and now we will leave this empty later on we will simply go to the Google and search for images and we will copy the URL for that image and then we will come right in here and paste it right in here so open your browser and search for company 4k images okay go to the images and right in here search for image and select it and copy that URL as you guys can see right in here so whenever you are done with the copying the URL and one more thing I will go with this background image for my app so in my case I will copy that one and simply go back to the Android Studio and write in here in this string tag variable login URL image in here simply paste the URL that you copied before as you guys can see right in here in my case this is the URL for the image that I want to use in my app so in your case choose whatever you want and paste it right in here and I will also provide this URL if you guys want to use that image you can simply copy that so now we will simply go back to the login screen dot dot right in here you will remove that container and return the scaffold right in the scaffold right in the body we will have a stack widget and right in the stack widget you will have a children and right in the children you will have a catch 
natural image there we go the first one remove that for now in here comma tag is down so in here we will say image url and now we're going to use that login url image so in here past it so now simply import a library for that there we go import it and the error has been gone now right after we will say class holder is going to take the contacts and then the url we will set it to the image dot acid and now right in the acid we will simply show the wallpaper as i told you before which one right in the images that one okay that's fine now in here we will say set the path assets and right in the asset slash we will go with the images folder and right in the images folder we will go with the name of that picture let me check it one more time it's wallpaper dot jpg so in here we will say wallpaper dot jpg and guys look out for the name it must be similar because otherwise it will not work if there will be any extra spacing or spelling mistake so make sure to make it in a proper manner so right after we will fit it to box fit dot fill it's fine right in here now the next thing we will do we will simply go and create an animation as i told you before so for that but before that we will initialize the animation first right above the visual build right in here so we will say animation is going to take the double because there will be a floating values and going to name this animation it's going to be private and right in here question mark so the error will be gone and also we will create the animation controller so for that right in here we will say animation controller in there right after we will go with the animation controller there we go and in here question mark so the error will be gone then now what we will do we will simply add down in here later on we will dispose that but first right in here we will say in its shape and right inside that we will work for the animation and we will create it so let's go and do that so in here we will say animation controller and right inside that what we will store we will say animation controller so this is going to take the initial value right in here we will say this for the animation okay duration and we will set the duration let's set it to seconds 20 let me move it to the side so that you guys can see we'll set to 20 and write it and semicolon so from here we will now say animation and right inside that we will store the curve animation so the parent is going to be the animation control that one okay scope it and test it right in here this is going to be the parent for that curve animation or oh, right in the curve in here we will say curves we will go with the dot linear and you can choose whatever you want it's fine right in here now right after in here take it down so that you guys can see easily 
we will say dot dot add listener so add listener what it will do it will simply call the listener every time the value of the animation changes so that's the purpose that we are using that right in here let me dispose this control animation control right in here so in here we will say dispose and right inside that del this so in here we will say animation control dot dispose it's fine right in here and one thing we should do right in here we will simply remove that from here and instead of that in here we will say light and also in here it's fine right in here and you guys can see the error has been gone also from here and in here yeah. let's move further so here we'll drag this down and in here we will say dot dot and we will simply add the status listener there we go so right in the status we will say animation status let's find right in here Add in here semicolon take this down and let in that we will set the if condition and we will say if animation status if it's equal to the animation status dot completed then in that case what we will do we will simply set the animation controller to reset you guys can see and also the animation controller we will set it to forward so it's gonna move forward then and right after in here we will say animation controller dot forward so that's fine right in here so in here you guys can see that arrow we will just fix this now and in here add the constant modifier so now let me check the arrow what did they say quicker provider so we're gonna change something we will go right at the top and with this plus as you guys can see login instead extends start login with that what we will do we will simply say with quicker provider stat maxim so there we go all good right in here and if you go down now the air will be gone then as you guys can see right in here now the red line has been gone already so add this right in here and the air will be gone and we are done with the animation and they're working okay also we dispose the animation control right in here you guys can see the result now we will simply go down and right below this image asset in here we will say error widget is going to take the contacts and then the url also the error okay now we're gonna give the icon icons you will go with the dot error down so let's find right in here put a comma and then we will set the width and we go with the double dot infinity and right after the height we will go with the double dot infinity it's fine right in here also fit it to box fit dot cover and right after let's set the alignment and right in the alignment 
there will be a fractional offset in which we will simply use the animation the value comma zero in here set the spelling put n in here so that is fine right in here and in here add the const modifier so now we will simply run the app from the start and we will see the output but first we will go towards the main dot dot okay and we will call upon adding the home on the login so in here we will remove that scaffold and you have a login right in here so whenever we run the app from the start there will be a login screen then okay in here import the library for the login screen dot dot so there we go now let's go towards the login screen dot dot and now we will check the output so run man dot dot how to load it and you guys will see the output just in a while with a beautiful animation that we just created there we go as you guys can see right in here as you guys can notice the output okay first there was that wallpaper they showed before and right after that there is that URL image okay you guys can see right on the screen that one but it's not changes dynamically because we set the animation and it's not changing dynamically so we will go right at top and let me show you one more thing right in here it's a stateful widget whenever you use the stateful widget we have to call upon the sys stat then it will change it dynamically and you guys will notice the output just in a while but first let me call upon the sys stat right in this add listener right in the init stat in which we set the working of animation you guys can see right in here so right in the add listener add the sys stat and here we will say sys stat and right in there right at the end semicolon so I'll call upon the system right in here and now if we run the application again you guys will notice the change so click in here run man dot dot and it will change it dynamically there we go you guys can now notice the animation it's moving forward and whenever it will complete it will go back to the start and it's moving forward you guys can see the beautiful animation and right in the start you guys also notice the wallpaper there we go okay so that's it for this video right in the next video we will start working right from here